गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यस्टर्डे वी हैव सीन डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन ओके इफ यू लुक एट दस्टर्डे नोट दट इज चाप्टर वन वी स्टार्टेड दट इज स्प्रिंग कोर ओके सो देर वी स्टार्टेड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डी ई डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन ओके so we have to see the concept of inversion of control that is actually working with the spring container okay so the meaning of dependency means actually it is a variable simply we can also call instance variable that exist inside the class or spring bean we can see dependencies okay so dependency injection separately we are learning first dependency means it's a variable it's a three types primitive type means if it's a variable created using this data type and the second one is collection type we have list set map and properties okay and third one is actually reference type okay a class or interface is used to create the object and injection total four are there spring boot supports three but mostly used two okay setter injection provide the data using set method okay so by using some set method of variable constructor injection okay parameterized constructor is used okay here setter injection object created using default constructor it's a recommendation okay so and third one lookup method injection it will come in case of scope only we did not discuss interface injection not available in spring okay so i have i give some question and answers also which are important and i give some software details which you need to download and work okay jdk latest software you down lts okay that's you download here and sts also eclipse also fine okay so let's continue today's session if you look at yesterday's diagram so here i just mentioned a class what are primitive types collection types and reference types and the combination three dependencies are there primitive collection and reference injections are two types setter and constructor total six combinations comes okay these are the six combinations and we have seen how the objects are linked okay dependent a class for example a c class having b object reference then c is actually called dependent ob is actually called dependency okay injecting all dependencies to dependent class is called dependency injection that is yesterday i explained you can check in the video if possible okay so this is actually order independent to next level dependent objects are created and injected okay now let us start today's session mostly monday i'll share a google drive link okay where you can get all the notices okay from the beginning onwards okay i'll share everything in a single place okay temporarily you will get through whatsapp groups okay later i'll give complete everything through a google drive today you just continue and see okay so here in the day one okay in the demo sessions i mentioned about spring container it is also called as spring ioc we can also called inversion of control
okay so in simple create the object and link them in the reverse order independent to dependent create the object and link them in the reverse order and finally it will destroy okay so what exactly spring container will do step number 1 first it will identify your classes okay of course some can be predefined okay so it is actually going to find or scan the classes if someone attended initial sessions you can give step number 1 what is the step number 1 even okay so that is actually called finding or scanning the classes can you tell me step number 2 if you know what is step number 2 identify once they found okay that is actually going to be create the object create objects to the classes what exactly those are found here create object okay it is also called instantiation okay in your understanding what's instantiation okay step number 3 what is step number so we can also called injections okay injecting the data simply we can also call it here we can also call it provide data and link objects providing the data and linking the objects remember this is done by spring container not by you or me okay spring container is actually doing okay now you use them okay in the program in the application wherever you want you use them for example database is there database connection is required connection object is created by spring container you use it perform some operation at last once your work is done at last what it is actually going to do finally it is actually going to destroy the container of course objects also first it will destroy the objects and then it will destroy the container okay so it is actually going to destroy everything here that's a work done by spring container okay now i'm saying how it will create the object and how it will link the objects okay creating the object means again it will use a constructor okay and by using parameterized constructor it can create the object and provide the data or else by using default constructor it can create the object and by using set method it can provide the data means yesterday's concept setter injection and constructor injection and if you want to provide the data so that can be a primitive collection or a reference type here okay so and i gave one designing part also what are the different inputs spring container will take spring container takes two inputs do you remember what are they the first one is a spring bean a class that follows the rules okay second one what is second one very good spring configuration file we can write in three ways xml configuration java configuration annotation configuration in the demo i just gave okay but we did not discuss this much okay spring container takes two inputs okay definitely have to give a spring bean and a spring configuration file okay spring bean and spring configuration file i'll give some xml configuration first point what you have to remember in spring boot in spring boot spring and spring boot both are different in spring boot there is no xml configuration required but in spring xml configuration is required in spring boot it is not required okay but majority of the applications okay are in spring of course in spring boot also old applications will be on xml also okay so you need not to become expert in that but you have to learn some basics in the xml configuration as they are going to ask in the interviews 
okay some some companies they have still application on spring also okay for that reason i am going to show two sessions on xml even that get some clarity and also do practice one time and leave it okay so let us start some tags xml means tags only mainly open tag and close tag okay so here xml configuration tags i'm showing here what are they the first one bean tag observe the first one bean tag what this tag indicates whenever you write this tag that informs hey spring container please create the object by default it recommends to create the object by using default constructor okay whenever you write the tag that is actually creating object bean tag okay who will create the object everyone should give answer who will create the object spring container or we can also call it spring ioc okay that is actually bean tag now if you remember yesterday we have seen setter injection and constructor injection setter injection means provide the data okay inject the data by using set method constructor injection means create the object and provide the data by using parameterized constructor okay that is actually using parameterized constructor right to indicate setter injection there is a tag called property whenever you use property that means actually okay so that is actually calling set method that is actually calling set method okay no i want to say i don't want to call set method i want to call parameterized constructor only constructor injection i want to do okay so if you want to do constructor injection constructor hyphen org okay using parameterized constructor to create the object and to provide the data okay so that is actually constructor hyphen arg look at the tags i'll ask again bean tag creating the object property tag calling which method set method constructor hyphen arg that's actually using parameterized constructor okay not getter only setter some people saying setter and getter no no, no not setter and getter only setter set method property okay now we have dependencies primitive type dependency means byte short int long float double boolean current string collection type dependency list set map properties okay reference type dependency okay by a variable created using class or interface okay so to indicate those we have some tags actually value tag whenever you indicate value that's actually primitive it's a primitive type variable or primitive type dependency if a variable for example you have variable called sid if a sid is a string type or int type okay so then we are going to choose a tag called value primitive type ptd here okay okay so that's actually primitive type and we have tag called list set map props it's a collection type look at list if you are working for list type set if you are working for a set type set collection type map if you are working for a map type props it's actually working for properties don't get confused with the property properties props don't get confused property means actually set method properties is a collection 
it's a collection that will store the data in the form of key and value to indicate properties java collection equivalent xml tag is props okay it's a class okay to indicate this class there is a xml tag called props okay so we'll practice some example then you will understand it's a collection type okay then there is actually a tag called ref okay that is actually for reference type ref means reference type if a variable created using class or interface you don't buy hard anything okay just remember okay we'll practice one by one example i'll give first example second example you involve that is sufficient then third example i'll give it as a task that you do it okay that's more than sufficient don't buy hard anything okay remember by doing practice okay so here let me show one by one ref tag is actually for reference type okay in simply link two objects reference type linking two objects a class object is created by using bean tag b class object is created by using bean tag and you want to link them reference type okay so that is actually ref tag referring please go and link there okay so that's a reference type injection okay this is a primitive okay so that's reference type dependency it's a primitive type dependency it's a collection type dependencies here okay i'll give simple examples here look at i'll show first example observe very carefully okay i'll give two things for your reference the first one is actually spring bean means a class i'll only give it in the future we don't write spring beans mostly almost we'll be having predefined classes okay but you have to write configuration that is important second one i am going to give okay spring ioc or spring container how does it look okay i am going to give these two for you okay and third one we have to write configuration xml configuration okay let me show example one you will understand then i i feel you will write the second one even okay there is a class okay please concentrate on xml configuration instead of class okay let us give some dummy better there is a class name called sample okay int code string model and there is one default constructor provided okay and there is set get methods also provided i will give some shortcuts how to generate them don't worry don't concentrate on spring bean now you have to concentrate on xml configuration okay in the future also i'll only give the class you concentrate on how to write xml configuration now i gave a spring bean i am just giving spring container also assumption this is a spring container spring container first found your class okay that is actually sample object is created for that okay sample class object name is sobj or sob okay it is having a variable called code the default value is actually zero but i'm change i want to change it to five okay it's a model default value will be actually null but i want to change it to, to some test okay so i am saying okay spring container my requirement i'm saying here to everyone i want you to tell spring container please create the object like this and provide the data like this okay actually we have to write a spring bean listen we should write a spring bean we should write a configuration then container will create the object are you getting the point actually you have to do step number 1 and step number 3 output is step number 2 here we are doing reverse engineering i am giving my output 
and I'm asking you to write XML configuration by looking that. Okay. So directly I'm just giving output. I'm just giving this output. I'm asking you to write this. Okay. I am writing observe carefully. First, I have to create the object, right? Now look at, I am using a tag called bean. Bean. Okay. So I'm just giving some package name also here. It's a recommended standard. Package means folder, simple word. Com dot app. Okay. Look at step number one. I am writing a tag that is a bean. Bean indicates. Bean indicates what? Creating the object. Spring bean means class. Bean tag. When you write bean tag, that's actually indicates creating the object. Bean should contain two things: ID and class in any order. Attributes can be in any order. You write first class and ID. ID means object. That object name is S O B J. Okay, ID is actually nothing but object. Class means fully qualified class name. Package name com dot app, and also class name sample. Okay, hope you are getting the point. Whenever we write code like this, that means it is actually creating the object. Spring container is creating the object this way. Okay, so here, like this, I wrote. In the future, we even don't write this code. It is going to be very less. But from the beginning, I want to show. Okay, so next, I have to say, there is a variable called code. Please do setter injection. Listen carefully. Setter injection means call set method, set code, set model. I want to provide the data. Okay, so whenever we want to do setter injection. If you want to do call set method, okay, there is a tag called property. So I am writing property tag open property tag close. Okay. So in the property, which property means which variable you want to call here for that, I should give a name. What is the variable name here? You can see. Variable name is actually code. Okay. The meaning of this line is nothing but calling set method, set code. It's actually calling of set method of code here, set code. It's actually we are calling here. Okay. Code, it's actually what type? Primitive type, collection type, or reference type? Yesterday I gave, okay, byte, short, int, long, all comes under primitive. Okay. So primitive type. If it is a primitive type, we should use a tag called value. Okay, so we should use a tag called value here. I am just writing a tag. Value, it's a file, close value like this. Okay, but one more variable also there that is actually model. Okay, it is also string. String means again, it is also primitive type. Okay, so again, we have to write one more time set method. I want to set the model. So hope you got the point. I'm writing the code. You look at property. Name is equals to variable name. Then it's a primitive type. So tag is value. The value is actually test close value. Okay. And we have to write close property. I'm just doing copy and paste like this. Okay. Okay. Looks lengthy, right? Okay. Of course, we are. I'm just starting wantedly from the lengthy content. I'll show some shortcuts and easy ways also. Please, everyone, join to Ashoka IT WhatsApp group for the notes, queries. Okay. So, any doubts, payment related information, new batch information, everything, please join to the WhatsApp group link, which is shared in the chart. Okay. 
and if you have any questions and doubts contact the admin this is admin number and that is my individual email id personal email id if you have any doubts also you can send okay this is admin number ashok it admin okay so bean tag object creation property tag calling set method value tag it's a primitive type variable is actually primitive okay now here i wrote this one still if you don't understand these words that means check yesterday's video okay what is uh, primitive collection reference i mentioned yesterday okay so this is a equivalent code okay this is one line only opening one line and this is closing tag property and close property value hope you understand some code here dynamic values i will show actually we have to go with the forms concept okay our database concept will come slowly don't worry okay i'll show the dynamic forms also okay in a single day we can't see everything okay so next i'll give one example like this i'll give a spring bean i'll give spring container design you should write xml configuration will you okay rs at least tell me what i should write i'll write it here you can cross check next i'll give one task to you that is actually for like something like practice that you should do at your home or roster okay let us okay so the equivalent meaning if you want to give just for your understanding this is sample esob is equals to this is just for your understanding only you need not to write this creating the object sob dot set code it's a file sob dot set model it's actually a test you don't write any double quotes while writing value here just write a close and open and close here this is equivalent java code for your reference only okay suraj google classroom drive i'll share it on monday okay so we'll uh, give new drive links new classroom links and all okay by monday so there you will get all the notes from the beginning okay this one you will get temporarily through whatsapp group so join our link join to this link temporarily okay i'll share every everything in a single place okay now look at this one so this is equivalent code this is just for your understanding purpose here okay now let me write one example okay so remember always i always love coding and even i request you to write coding because developer means coding theory yes you learn but if you don't practice coding you are never called programmer okay so lot of people will learn theory pages and pages and pages i don't understand okay for what position they are trying to apply okay so there is a person called business analyst and content writers in it field their work is to write theory only nothing else okay so but programmer sit with a system open the ide write coding debug okay check code quality do testing okay check the code smells bugs okay so configure support for configuration of pipeline so check for the production deployment again cycle configurations enhancements bugs checking that is only their work their life developer is different okay not just learning theory programming is very important programmer means who write the program not the one who write the theory so this is important okay let us go for the second example let me give a spring bean there is a class called dbcon or database connection just i am giving dbcon i am giving string driver string url sufficient okay there is actually default constructor given 
set method given. Set and get methods are available, but temporarily you use set methods only. Okay. And there is a spring container. You can see in the container, con is the object name. Driver is equals to Oracle ORCL short format I wrote. URL is equals to A colon B, some dummy value. Yeah, we can write JDBC program lengthy, but first understand the tax. Listen my requirement carefully. Create the object using default constructor and provide the data using set method. Okay. In simple, we are doing combination one program. Yesterday, you remember? We are doing combination one program here. Primitive type dependency. Okay. So byte short, interlong float, double boolean care. Setter injection, property tag, value tag, property tag. Just one second. Okay, if you look at yesterday's combinations here, so whenever you see primitive type dependency, that is actually called value tag. Okay, setter injection. Okay, that is actually, we are just following this one. It's a property tag. Okay, this is the first combination we are learning. Okay, now let's continue. So this is, look at spring container. I gave object details and all. Okay. So package name, just you take temporarily com dot app. If I don't write any package, if I forgot to write anytime. Com dot app. Okay. Let us start. Okay. So you can tell me or type in the chart, what tags we have to write or what code we have to write. Okay. I'll type it. Okay. So even if we have notes, okay, you can write with a pen and paper while sitting in the session. Okay. And you can show it to me. Okay. So if someone attending through online, what you can do, okay, you can write it now in the notepad like that and send it to me after the class. Okay. If the task is assigned to you. Okay. And now you participate, observe here and write the code. Okay. Always remember practice is most important thing. Okay. Now I'm writing. Okay. Tell me one by one. What is the tag we have to write? You can type in the chat box. Yeah. What is the tag? Very good. Okay. So what is the object name here? Yeah. C O N. So how to give object name? Very good. ID. So ID is actually C O N. Yeah. What is the next attribute here? Class. Fully qualified class name. Remember, fully qualified means package name plus class name. Okay. That's actually com dot app dot. Very good. It's an open tag. So here directly I'm writing close tag. It's a bean tag. Okay. This is actually creating the object using default constructor. Remember that. Okay, so this actually creating the object using default constructor. Ah, what is the next tag I want to call set method? Very good. The tag I just want to call set method. So you can give answer using chart box also. Property. Ah, what is the attribute we have to write? Not value. Name. Name. Okay. What is the variable name? First variable name you can see. Exactly. Driver. Okay. So there I want to give driver value is ORCL. Okay. The, so the tag is what? Very good. So the tag is 
value close value close property we have to do the same thing for second property also okay second property is actually url so i think you understood what to write okay so i am writing now so you check so is that correct or not property name is equals to url okay then we have to write a tag called value okay that is a colon b it's a dummy value just i'm giving close value tag closing tags important closing property tag important okay and so if you want me to give equivalent code so like above this is just for reference purpose you don't write this code again i'm saying you don't write this code this is just for reference purpose only okay creating how what is the meaning of this code internally okay now i'm just giving a small task okay if you if it is possible you can open the one who is actually attending online you can open the notepad first type it there and paste in the chat box okay now you people who are actually attending offline you people can do right directly write in the notes okay so then you can show it to me not an issue okay write down the task one there is a class name called my view it's a prefix default constructor set get methods this is spring container or spring ioc we'll see practical programming also okay that is mob prefix is equals to 1 suffix is equals to jsp prefix is equal to page suffix equals to jsp like this i wrote okay my requirement write equivalent xml code okay to inform to spring container hey container take this xml and take this class and create the object you write equivalent xml code Akbar, very good. Swarup, nice. Rahul, right answer. Suma, good, correct. ID should be Achut, object name class should be fully qualified class name you see you you write mob only you can write anything but i gave details right you write the same anshu verma right answer hp okay please rename your devices with the actual names so that i can say if you write some mistakes yeah correct santosh good bindu right answer shokumar yeah very good this is actually called learning by doing okay this is always good approach once you habituated of this okay in your lifetime whatever subject you learn it is very easy to you i'm saying right already i said there is no person actually i don't believe that if someone is actually okay not talented no they are not doing practice that's it krishna right answer sure very good yeah nice aditya nitin good good abhishek rajia nice 
Raj, you missed to write double quotes for class. Class equals to you have to keep com dot app dot my win double quotes remaining correct. Location nice. Yeah, no problem. You can do mistakes. Without doing mistakes, no one can learn. Okay, if you are doing mistakes, means you are learning. Very good. I even encourage doing mistakes so that you will understand what is right and what is wrong. Very good, Krishna. Mostly from Monday, you may get new link. Okay. So from Monday, you may get new link for that. Okay. You have to approach to admin department. Supriya, you missed the class name. You wrote calm.app.myview. You missed that. Check it once. But ready, yeah, correct. Okay. Now, I hope you downloaded everyone's software JDK and STS. I'll check after. Okay. So here, yeah, I'm writing the code. You can cross check everyone. Bean ID. MOB class double quotes com dot app dot my view close bean there is a tag called property name is equals to prefix value what is the value I gave here page Property. Actually, we should not give space. Okay. But just for visibility purpose, I give, you should not give space here. Property name is equals to suffix value JSP. Close property. You can cross check. Have you written same code or not? Okay. Now look at. So I'll give some shortcuts. Please check it. Okay. Whenever you're working with any ID, the most important thing is shortcuts. Okay. First, you create one project. So once you down, done installing, downloading and installing of your projects here, look at cross check very carefully. Whatever the steps I'm just doing, you also do the same. In STS ID. Eclipse also fine, you take it. Same shortcuts, STS and Eclipse. File, new. Second option, Spring Starter Project. Spring Starter Project. Okay. Don't modify anything. You will get one option to create the new project here. New Spring Starter Project. Internet connection required while doing this. Next button. Okay. So search with one option called Web or Spring Web. Click on this option. Next button and the finish button. Wait at least 15 to 20 minutes so that it will create one project. It will take some time in the bottom. You'll see some progress. Okay. In the bottom, you'll see, okay, some progress here. So once project is created, don't check any code. Don't delete any class. Don't write anything. Execute some shortcuts. Today, your task is shortcuts. The first shortcut opening any predefined class. Control shift to that is called open type. Yeah, I'll give it. So there is a predefined class called string. E-S-T-R-I-N-G. Okay, there is a matching class. Click on open or press enter. Look at the predefined class. Control plus for zoom, control minus, zoom in, zoom out. 
okay do you want to see all the variables inside the class and methods and inside uh, all the variables and methods inside the class control o members up arrow down arrow you can just check it okay and you want to search the method length press enter you will go to that and you want to go to particular line control l 885 you will go there okay now look at first what you have to do create one project actually this project it's a dummy project file new spring starter project you will get one screen simply click on next button okay search one option that is spring web choose it next button okay click on finish button now you execute shortcuts if you want to search the shortcuts at least there should be one project that's why i created the project otherwise project not required okay to do shortcuts checking here so what is the key that you need to press and what is the description okay the first key i'm just giving okay that is actually control shift t this is actually called open predefined classes let me show one more time predefined class control shift t there is a list interface of course not only class interface also list interface you can see control o okay there is a method called is empty okay control shift t array list you can see control shift t thread class control shift t okay runnable control shift t okay null pointer exception control shift t predefined classes interfaces enums predefined code anything predefined files okay control o once you open the file and you want to view the member see i opened this uh, null pointer exception in this what are the constructors variables methods you want to see control o you want to see even parent class also see null pointer exception having one parent class runtime you want to see that one also control o control o second time first time you press control o second time you press control o see blue color nothing but actually you see some light blue color this is uh, black color blue color nothing but parent class okay you can see control o to view current class members press second time to include parent members okay two times you press please practice the shortcuts okay at the time of programming i'll use shortcuts in a super fast way okay the one which made me to work very fast is my shortcuts how many shortcuts that you learn that much fast you work okay next one i'm not giving more shortcuts also okay one day i'll give few shortcuts that you definitely do practice don't say reasons okay so if you press control l go to line number if you want to go to line number here yeah same shortcuts for eclipse also sts also sts also internal eclipse only control l 996 okay it's saying here out of range 85 go to line number and you wrote your own class okay a class that exists in the workspace here these classes you want to open some class for example i'm just creating a dummy class right click new class sample okay you want to see i have closed all the class here you want to open one of this class control shift r sample press enter okay if you want to see your classes not predefined control shift t is predefined 
control shift r your classes to open workspace or project classes or interfaces your classes in simply control shift r not only classes any files even okay if you want to open pom.xml control shift r pom.xml okay control shift r okay star dot properties okay i don't know full name i can type star also okay control shift r star sca star all matchings will come you can see star indicates some other characters clear yeah there also okay i don't want to confuse you by giving all shortcuts if i give 20 shortcuts at a time i know that you will not do practice that's why I'm just giving four important after few days, few more slowly. Okay. So saline bottle, you know, okay. So saline bottle should be injected into your body drop by drop. You may ask doctor, sir, give it, sir. I can drink it. No problem. I'll close my nose and I'll drink it, but you should not. Okay. That should go drop by drop into your body. Good things. Good things should go drop by drop. Okay, otherwise you can't digest. That's the most important thing. Okay, so that's why I don't want to give all at a time. Slowly, no problem. But every day, whatever I'm just giving, do practice. Okay, so forcing your some people will be there. Okay, what they will try to do from morning to evening, they will try to learn everything in a single day. That is also wrong. Okay, they will sit Saturday, complete Saturday. Let me do practice of complete spring boot. Wrong. Okay. You try to habituate every day. You keep one hour time practice. That's a good manner. Okay. You go to gym. Okay. I want to become, I want to get six packs. Okay. Trainer will say every day, one hour, six months. Okay. Instead of one hour, six months, I'll come six hours in a day. How many months? Okay. You come today. If tomorrow, if you come, let us see. Okay. Overdose is not good. You have to take even medicine also doctor will suggest take one medicine give some gap after six hours and you take it no let it get cure in a single one hour only take a, a complete strip no that's not good okay understand okay intelligent shortcuts are different okay so please join to the whatsapp group monday you will get new link okay for that you can communicate with the whatsapp group through admin okay so thank you for session we'll continue on monday class if you have any doubts and questions please approach to this mobile number and approach to my email ID also. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can ask or else you can leave for the day.